Hi, I'm Manisha from Ananda Permaculture Project and I hope that you've been tracking our playlist called The Sustainable House because that is where I share a lot of small and big things that we have done sustainably to build a house for ourselves. Now, one of the things that we did um, was, uh, you know, experimented with different types of walls. So we've already talked about the rammed earth wall. We have some walls made out of stone and lime and we also have some walls made out of stone and cement. But as a result, we had a lot of leftover stone with us. And this stone was really waste stone because it was the stone that came up after we had cut a stone to size to be used as a brick. Now, as you enter the house, uh, you know, this space needed a wall, but I was a little bit wary of making a stone wall here because it can end up looking very cold. And what you really want at the entry of your house is something which is nice, warm and hospitable. So, we, uh, you know, our architects came up with the idea to create a gabion wall structure here. And that immediately resonated with me because I had seen the locals in the village make gabion structures before. If you follow our work on the farm, you would have seen that we've built a gabion uh, structure uh, in place of the weir which was broken uh, when we bought this land. So I was aware that the local villagers knew how to make good gabion structures and it's also something that they make quite often to uh, you know create retaining walls around uh, you know hilly patches which are eroding which are likely to collapse so we took all the stone that we had lying on the construction site as waste material and started putting together a gabion wall here right at the entrance this is really a great skill that our craftsmen have where they pretty much roll out this uh, mesh of wire, uh, you know, keep unfolding it as the wall builds up. And on the edges of the wall, they put the bigger stone pieces. And in the inside, they literally put all the waste stone material. Once this wall is actually erected, then they put more small pieces of stone into the gaps so that there is no risk of some animal or a reptile entering into the wall and building a home there. The steel wire mesh is held together in place with uh, smaller pieces of wire. And in places where it's uh, adjoining a proper wall, it's anchored there with some nails, you know, grouted into the uh, adjoining wall. So just like that, they've built up the whole structure and you know, you can see that it looks really beautiful and charming. The beauty of this Gabion structure wall is that it actually consumed all our stone waste, big and small, and has built a really pretty garden feature for us on which creepers grow up really nicely and thereby it brings a lot of warmth to the entry and the walkway which leads up to our house. Let me show you the creepers that we've set up on the other gabion wall and how beautiful they are looking. Come. So here you can see the blue pea flower also known as Aparajita in Hindi and it's literally taken up the entire wall right till the top. This flower is also edible and you can make a really nice tea out of it. And I'll talk more about that in some of my permaculture videos. Uh, so much from me uh, today. And this is just an example of how you can, you know, think a little bit out of the box, look at the waste material that's there uh, on your uh, construction site and try to tuck it away in various places and make the most beautiful thing that you can with it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, learned something new. This is a skill that I'm sure you'll find easily in areas around your site and your uh, you know, sustainable house. 
so so much from me thank you see you bye bye